Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome back to Farming Simulator 17. Goldcrest Valley and planting poplars, and no, that's not me. <laughs> nope, <laughs> it's not me. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I, I, I couldn't plant them that straight. But, uh, oh, they just magically appear there. That is so neat. Anyway, I'm just making sure that uh, our new helper here can make this corner at the end and, and not... Uh, turn the wrong direction and start replanting them. Otherwise, we've still got rain coming in. We're at noon for the day. I went through and put pretty much all the equipment away, except I've still got to put the uh, the new Massive Ferguson uh, which way you're going to turn uh, Harvester away. Okay, I think that's the correct direction. Yeah. Okay, good. So let's hop out of here. And... What you doing? No, 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 no. Okay. Let's try that again. So, she wanted to redo the other row. Alright, if I hire you from here. I'll we'll have to wait and see what uh, what's going to happen at the other end. Alright. Coming off of a game save kind of messes with the, uh, the AI's mind there. But they want to go all the way to this building to make that turn, which means those two trees are, are going to be in the way. Or they'll recalculate the turn, and, uh, the turn in smaller distances and I don't know what. What do you say we just make these go away? I haven't done this in a long time. I don't remember how. Uh, we'll take it as low as... Well, it, that's right, i got to get the stump grinder to finish that, huh? But I want to be able to find them. Okay, we'll do that. Now, the side you complete on should be the side that they fall to. <laughs> okay, I guess tree cutting is still a little bit bugged. So let's do this one. This time we'll do it this way. And crouch down low. Right there. Are you going to fall? That one did. Okay. I need to see what's going on at the other end. Let's uh, sprint up there. See if she turns the right way. We'll run through the poplars. Doesn't like it when I'm standing here, huh? Okay. Well, that looks like two thirds done. Yeah, three quarters. One quarter empty. Three quarters left. Okay. Um, I guess we'll hang here for a moment. Then I guess get the stump grinder onto a tractor and go clean those two stumps up. Otherwise, I've got to put the harvester away. And I'm thinking about placing greenhouses. Probably right out in there. So, let me remind myself of how much room they take to turn around. I'm thinking a tractor's length beyond the dirt. Which way are you going to turn? Alright, so you lift up. And you start turning immediately. Interesting. Didn't do that last time. Last time went straight for a long time, then backed up. Huh. Yeah, we need to kind of hang around here for a bit. So, 75% left. Let's Uber on over to the... That's not it. Let's go the other way. That's strange. That was the, uh, the warrior. The warrior was always on the other side of the this one who I set loose to uh, to clean up the, the stubble out over here. So I can't use that one anyway. So we'll head out to this one, the case. And now it's in order. It went from the... What is, what's that one over there? That's a Massey Ferguson to the Warrior and now to the case. Huh. So it reset itself. Anyway, let's go grab the stump grinder and get back over there before she finishes that row. Theoretically. I seem to remember it being over here. At least that's where my immediate guess 
was what looks like a stump grinder. That does and is blocked. Ugh, okay. So I put it away wrong last time. Fuck you up. There we go. Fought the urge to hit the tab button accidentally. Alright, so... Forward. Backward, but everything is backwards when I go backward. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, that wasn't at, a, at a, enough of a, of a angle there. Can I just back up and grab that? I can. Oh, wrong backward. I gotta get forward. My fingers should do what they're supposed to do. You're off the ground? Not really. How do I go up? Is that a V? Nope. It's a... Ah, right mouse... A left mouse button and left. Okay. Let's get back over there. Hopefully just in time to verify that she's turning the correct direction. Then we'll clean up the stumps and just toss the uh, the trees off to the side. And, and one of these episodes before this map is done, we're going to do one major logging operation. The kind of logging operation that uses heavy equipment and the train. Wanting to do that since the very beginning. So that's definitely yet on the agenda. If I can look at my list while I'm driving here. Major logging, I'm looking at my my bucket list of things to get done. Um, plant poplars, the new tractors and harvesters. Actually, we don't need any more, any more tractors. We just need new harvesters. So we got two of them. We're going to get one more. And unless we do something else other than tippers and a tractor for uh, picking up the wheat in Field 5 when we do that episode. Which I guess is dictated by when that thing gets replanted on its own since we don't own it. I wonder if we should go buy it and own it. And where are you? I think you're good. Yes. Okay, we're good now. Um, let's knock this tree over. It just sat down perfectly on top of it. Um, something like that. That was kind of odd. <laughs> it snagged us. Let's see if we can get to the stump. Uh, not really. Yeah, let's see here. Let's clean this up. That didn't work. Let's try that. Uh, let's go from this end, though. Otherwise, it tends to just chew up the, the tip and it's all gone. Alright, that do it? That did it. Boy, I wish I could do that in real life. Let's run down the length of the saw aimed into the, into the tree. There we go. Um, I'd say in half. Though the heavier half over here. There you are. There. About like this. You want the length as long as possible. It's worth more that way, but you've got to be able to lift it. So it depends on the thickness of the log. Drop that there. There we go. So these uh, thinner logs we can get away. Wow, I didn't come close to half, did I? I think this tree is going to be out of the way. Too heavy. Too heavy. There we go. Oh, who put that there? Now, can I strafe sideways? Yes, I can. Kind of. Try that again. Now, where am I going? It's right over here, right? Ah, here you are. And let's cut this last one in half. About there. Yeah. Ooh, there you are. Okay. Can I lift him now? Uh, don't do that. Okay, I can lift you. And I can lift you. Alright. Where am I going? Let's go the long way. There you are. Now, remind me these are here. When we get to the logging 
episode. We want to come back and get these. Now for stump grinding. Okay. And coming back to us. Good thing we got that done. Now, I'm going to get in cab. Yeah, much better. Back up like so. Of course, I can't see my distance. I can't look diagonally to do it. That's frustrating. Alright, so I want to do this. Like that. Right there. So, B. And lower it. Done? Done. Pretty good. There you are. Right there. Huh. Thought I would take it down piece at a time, but I guess it's going to do the entire thing at once. One graphic. There we go. Alright, stumps are gone. B, and we can put this away. So after this, I guess just let, uh, yeah, we do need to get the trailer over here. You know, I'm not going to. I think we're going to do most of that field with that one box. So we'll just drive the, uh, the planter over to the pig farm up there and just grab one more box and clean it up that way. So let's put this away and go put that harvester away and then take a good look at greenhouses and See what else the game has to offer in regard to placeables. I know there's seems like there's solar power. There might be a was there a windmill? Beehives. There's quite a few different things to choose from. So we'll go and see how that all works. Clear on this side. It was a yield, right? All the signs gone. So <laughs> actually, there's no sign here either. Huh. And we'll call it a blind intersection. First come, first serve. In fact, well, I guess there are stop signs. I'm going to say, I wonder if that's why the townsfolk never stop at, at the corners, but no, nah, that's just because they don't stop at the corners. This guy is just flying through this place. Started him up just as I began this episode. I haven't been recording that long. Uh, this goes here. Put this one away. Whoops. The other left. Much easier if I'm inside looking through the back. Then it feels more natural. Out there I'm constantly second guessing myself. So here I have no sense of depth. Well that was pretty close. Alright, so if I would take that down like that and then Q. It doesn't fall too violently. All right. Let's put this guy away. That's good. All right. Um I guess we'll have to take an Uber over to the uh the other harvester. We do need to put that away too. Lots of stuff to put away. I'm curious though when the cultivator gets done over there, if I leave them in the field during the rainstorm. I want to know with certainty that the rain doesn't clean it up. Seems like we tried that last time and it didn't work. I can go back to that. Um, 50%. Alright, so we're going to get a good two-thirds of the field done, I think we have to go get the other box. So we're just going to have two extra boxes of these things. Um, let's see. What do I want to do? I'm thinking I want to go backwards a couple. Like that? There you are. Left this one over here. Like I thought about starting the episode here, but I got distracted over at the poplar field. And... Um, let's put the trailer beyond. Because I need to drive into it right there. Uh, 
Alright, something like that. Yeah, there would have been no way to drive that header through those uh, crossing gates there. Speaking of crossing gates, I came across a new game today. I wrote a letter to the developer and it looks like I'm going to be getting a, uh, a press key for it. I won't tell you the name yet, but I was really excited when I saw it. So if I can get that in the next day or two, I'm going to immediately put together an episode of it. That's going to be a fun game. And I'll leave it, leave it at that with you. That's not going to fit, is it? That's a small little trailer. Now we're going to try hanging off the back end. That should do it. So somewhere, let's see, vertically, I feel like I need to kick it off right there. Okay. Down to here. And I want to say G and V. And Q. Alright, we'll see if that sticks. Yep, need one size longer of a trailer. I think that's one that fit whatever sunflower head we had used when we uh, rented the equipment the first time. Alright, got to go deep in here. Ooh. Oh, that's close to hitting. Let's see, forward. There it is. Can I make corners? I guess I can. Alright, that works. Go out further so we can kind of watch how this all interacts. Well, as far as I can go. It's a long header. All right, let's get the speed up. We want to we want to put this where? I guess where the trailer was parked. Okay, that makes sense. Now we got the other header to get in here too. Hmm, that's gonna be fun. I guess I have to bring it in with a skinny vehicle, not a not with a harvester. I can get one harvester in here. I don't think I can get a second. Let's see, we're rear steering. That's difficult. All right, but I guess that works. And right there. Woohoo! You're going off roading. <laughs> now, when is this rain going to hit? What time it. No, it was during the night that it changed, or then it changed again. We've had a few episodes since since morning, haven't we? Hmm. Don't remember what time it went from just rain to rain with uh, sun coming up afterward. Now I pushed the old case harvester all the way to the back, wondering if I could get this guy in here. If I didn't have the header on the case, I probably could. But that's as far as oh, stop! Well, my stop and go is greatly accelerated. I'm going to have to call that one good. So, what do I want here? Turn him off. And... I guess there's one last thing to take care of. Let's hop out. That's not an out. That is. Let's see if I... I want to know if I can hook that up to the pickup truck. I couldn't hook it up to the back of a trailer. And maybe only because the trailers, even though they have the right hitch... Maybe it's only because they're only programmed to be connected to certain things. It doesn't know what hitch you've got. It just knows what was made to fit with each other. And who would ever want to put a header... Yep, I can. Header uh, trailer on the back of a tipper. But see, those don't even match. That matches the back of the of the tipper. There's a pin and a, and a, and a slot kind of a thing. So... You. Yeah, that, I'm, I'm sorry. No, that doesn't work. But, oh well. Oh well, let's see. I should be able to pull this guy straight through now. Well, assuming that I can line it up out at the other end. I think I'm going to need to go through here to do that, but i got to hit this guy straight to begin with. Or I'm going to snag him from the side. Oh, that's close. This is quite a view, huh? <laughs> we'll catch it right here in the trailer. Okay, before I go too far, I'm going to go out on the road. 
That's where I need to be. Look at this, the size difference. There's the pickup truck there. Back in is just dragging. Yeah, that's a lot of tongue weight there. Compared to... The beast. Just keeps going. Wow. That is something else. I feel like I'm being... I'm pulling it with a go-kart. Won't need this again. I'm guessing. Until... See, I gotta go a little wide and then tuck in. Nope, not enough. There. Until we get to field five, which we probably need to go take a look at. So we got that to do, and the placeables, the greenhouses. If I turn this way, that should pivot that around. Oh, that is so close. All right, now he doesn't fit. What point do we say it's good enough? I think it's right there. That didn't work. G, Q. There we go. So this one you have to select the trailer to release, or everything else, you select the vehicle that is releasing it. Like something got backwards there. Massey Ferguson, New Holland. And I want to say Ford, but it's more like... What was this guy called? Rodeo or something like that. Some off-brand. But it does look like an old Ford pickup to me. Alright, what's next? Field 5. Think about it. Oh, we have... Is there grain in these still? I don't remember. No, there's not. So they can sit out there. That's fine. So I think all of the grain is in. There we go. All right, so field five. Let's think about this. What is happening? It is ready to harvest. It's about to become spoiled. We don't have the ability to harvest it right now. And there is wheat, right? Yeah. Meaning we're at the very end of this cycle and it is at the very end of its harvest. So it's going to go bad before we even get a third of the way done. So there's no... You know, jumping up the schedule and doing the grand finale right now, ahead of time. We're just going to have to wait for one more cycle. And that gives us time to do all the other things we wanted to do. Maybe even one more mowing here and... Where's the pig? This little triangle here, that triangle there, and what's left of this area that isn't um, greenhouses. And maybe even fill up one more silage bay. There's something else to do before this map ends. So I think the end of this series, end of this map, is the conclusion of this. So basically a cultivation, a planting, and then four growth cycles. Hit this, do all of our harvesting, trekking it back and forth, and maybe there'll be a selling off somewhere, hauling the stuff away. Don't know. Um... Think about that. Can the train take more than one grain at a time? I don't know. Were there two grain cars? I have to think about that. Whether we want to sell a whole bunch of stuff over here at Maplefield Mill. But, um... Alright, so we're going to wait for him to harvest. Auto harvest with the next cycle. Then we'll think about taking him over. And we own a little tiny cultivator and a much bigger cultivator we might go for a, even a third cultivator in fact there was one is that what i've got the seed drill think about that something that i saw what do i want here i want to escape and i want p something i saw dagger when doing uh garage and it surprised me something i didn't know about this which one am i thinking of this guy you What does that mean? Four days. We've owned it for four days? Don't know. What I want to know is, can this thing cultivate? Uh, sewing machine, you can sow fields. Additionally, this machine offers possibility to seed directly. No previous cultivating or plowing necessary. Now, I'm sure there are certain crops you would do that with, and others that you would not. But this is what I believe that they consider a, a seed drill. 
So you're not looking for loose furrows to drop the seeds into and then kind of spread it or uh, kind of spread the, the soil back over the top of the seeds. This one actually punches the seed into the ground. We own this one, right? Garage. This is our garage, yeah. So there is no garage symbol here. So we could cultivate part of field five with a sower running behind the cultivator from one end and the other end hook up the seed drill and have that one just start putting the seed in directly and get that thing replanted with wheat fast that way. Kind of like that idea. Too bad there's no way, well, no easy way to have two tractors with two cultivators running side by side and intelligently you know keep keep working without conflicting and running into each other so we can get this little guy going along with this bigger one going we the only way to really make it work is to start him at one end of the field start him in the middle make sure that at the end he turns to aim toward this one and then get the seed drill going from the very far end of the field to eventually meet up with them yeah i'm just babbling here just kind of planning my own approach to all of this so we're not doing anything with field five yet so instead we are thinking about i kind of want to get out there let's get me over to the poplars okay i think if i start here then i go to shop it's going to be much easier to get over to put the the greenhouses so let's although Can I get over to the cattle? Where is that? That We do have one little tractor over there at the cattle. Right there. Is there a place over here? We have lots of manure already building over here. We could use that grass right there besides that other field. And not use the uh, the stuff from the pigs. Eh, it doesn't feel right, though. If I own that field, it would feel right. But it just kind of feels like that's his property, and I'd be... I'd be... Uh, yeah, that doesn't, that doesn't feel right. Okay, so back over to this guy, and... Zoom out a bit, and shop. Alright, so placeables are the very last thing, right there. From here, let's... Now, no, not the heating plant. How does this guy work? Drop wood chips at this selling station. Dropping wood chips at the selling station produces heat and earns your money. Okay, well, that's a possibility. I'm second, there is one that lets you sell wood chips. I thought it, I didn't think it was a heating plant, though. What are you? Any logs put into this machine are converted into wood chips or immediately sold to the sawmill. I didn't get the sense that wood chips made much money. Is that what I'm thinking of? No, that's a place to store hay. I guess the other one is what I was thinking of. Okay. So, we probably want to get a hold of one of these. And probably right here near this field. Because we're going to be making the wood chips right here. So some of it can go into here just to see it happen. We'll take most of it to this the uh, sawmill um wood chips have to go to a very specific place don't they i don't think i can load them onto the train for example and dump them off where we dump the logs i think there is a specific sell point at the sawmill for wood chips so can't go that route with wood chips we can do it with the logs though all right so let's let's place this guy bye all right, where to? He feels like he should be kind of part of this area. I think so. In fact, I kind of think right in here. Um, is it QE? Yeah. That's the hopper right there. He looks so tiny. I thought it was much bigger. So the building is actually set back about like that. I kind of like it lining up with that grass square. Let's do that. $68,000. Boom. Ouch. All right, so shop. No, right click. No, escape. There it is, escape. Now, 
I'm not going to do that. Here's new or extra silos for being able to dump. I'm guessing increase the storage capacity of your silos. Must be placed near your farm silos. Oh, so it's not an entry point. It's just an extension of the existing ones. Okay. This stores hay. I've never really spent enough time with hay to want to store it. So pass on that one. This thing is huge. He is huge. You can park all kinds of equipment in here. I really like this one too. But this particular app just doesn't offer enough room. You'd have to buy a field and abandon it, grass it out, and just make it your, uh, your storage area. But this is close to the size of the of the storage that was in the Westbridge Hills map. Pull the, all the tractors in, harvesters, and pull them all in, into the garage there. I like that one. Beehives. Let's do something with beehives. Let's read about it. Produces honey which is sold automatically to earn you money. So you don't really interact with it. And I don't think it really needs to be here. Let's save that for right next door farm. We have a kind of a garden area in our house. I think that might look good over there. This guy though, here is a greenhouse for tomatoes. Oh, are there multiple ones? Greenhouse lettuce. Okay, so lettuce and tomatoes. We've got solar and wind. And a picnic shelter that's kind of like the one that's in the, the woods right over here behind the pig farm. We didn't stay to the low road and took the high one. We ended up walk out, driving around this guy. Rectangular picnic shelter. That looks nice. So there's a little bit of decoration you can put out on your property here and there. And shacks and whatnot. Trees. Yeah. Let's get the two greenhouses over here. Right here is where you dump manure. And I'm thinking the black one is a water tank. This guy uh, produces vegetables which are sold automatically to earn you money. It doesn't tell you that it only works if you add water and manure. So I wonder if there's something you have to add to this to make it work too. So we'll find that out. Buy this one. And want to be out over in this side. How so? Let's see if we can figure this out. That's a ramp to get up. And the far side, that's water supply there, and over there is the manure. So let's make it easy for the tractor to get to those. And what makes the most sense? We do want to be able to turn these around. I wish I could rotate the camera. I want to, I want to look the opposite direction to see these things. Um... How about we take some of these trees out first? Tank is empty. Okay. Let's hop in here then. And then we'll take some trees down and place the greenhouses. $68,000 construction cost. Oh, okay. That was the, uh, the wood burner over there. Where am I at? I'm going to go this way. Nobody out there. That's right, this road is empty, isn't it? No cars. Why well, is a dirty tractor? This is the warrior, right? <laughs> Look at the footprints. <laughs> and I've got to remember, I've actually got something behind me. And this site is available. Alrighty. Um, feels weird doing it from the inside now. A little bit beyond, and then turn in. Where's my depth to those hay bales? Probably good right there. Are? Yeah, there we go. Whoa! See the shocks? It, you know, drop down on the shocks there. Oops, forward. And tongue was right there. I think I'm clear of everything. Yeah. All right, let's go back and start this guy up again. It is nice having the property right across the street from it. Dive right in and go to work.
Now, can I line this up? Yeah, I can kind of see through that box. I'm not going to be able to tell when I'm far enough. Alright, oops, the other one. Yep, I cannot tell my depth. Further this way. That looks pretty good. Yeah, that's good. Alright, we'll start you right about there. Higher. But I do need to hang around a bit. Make sure we turn this corner correctly. We should. Since these were planted this game save. Instead of the previous one. So I think we're going to be okay. We'll find out. Now we've still got three growth cycles to go. Before we need to worry about the foraging wagon. And the... Uh, what you would call it, the poplar head, header I'll call it, but uh, I'm sure there's a name for it, poplar harvester. Alright, what's going to happen here, and then let's go chop some trees down, place some greenhouses, and I think we'll call this one done. And are you going to do the same thing you did the very first time? Nope, you're going to turn immediately, but you're turning the wrong way, higher. So, you did pull the other stunt, but you still ended up Accomplishing the same thing. Nice and close, right about there. Higher. There you go. So we do need to be aware of what's going to happen at the other end. Jump out, sprint up here. Still no rain. Um, let's get the speed back up to five. We've we've accomplished the harvest. That's what I needed. Most everything else can be done in the rain or. When it does rain, we'll speed up a little bit more and just sit back and watch the show. All right, where to put those greenhouses? Kind of felt like I wanted them back a little bit further into the trees. Not too deep, but at least take out this one and maybe those two over there. This one too? Yeah, this one too. All right, now I've heard different theories about this. If you cut straight across, it will drop at the opposite end of where you started. Other ones, if you cut a slight diagonal, it'll drop at the opposite end. Everyone's got their theory. I think at the end, it's pretty random. I think sometimes it's going to work. Sometimes it is going to just line up, just sit there perfectly. I mean, we did this before in one episode, and some of those diagonals were cut over and over and over again at diagonals, and it didn't do any good. Okay. Now I wish I could grab this thing and drag it away, but I can't. It'll say too heavy. Probably shouldn't run with the chainsaw, huh? Now... Where am I? Actually, I want to leave that. I think we'll start right here. So is that it? It felt like there was more to do. Maybe we'll take this one out. There we go. Diagonal that didn't fall. Here's a biogas plant. I was going to say, did I leave a vehicle over here all this time? Nope, that's somebody else's. So we took out... Was it this one just now? It was. Timber! <laughs> so that means I wanted to take out this one right here. Then we're starting to drift downhill too far. So we're not going to be able to go any further anyway. There we go. So let's clean all of these up. Uh, let's do this one. I feel like I missed something. Nope, got him. And these two over here. One more, right? What am I missing? I know I did four. Oh, there's one over here I missed. Okay. Alright. So... 
something like... I can do it for standing up. It takes a long time to finally touch the tree. That's why I usually crouch. Uh, can I pick him up? Yep. Yep. Guess I may as well do it. Where to? Holy, 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 holy. Um, I want to put greenhouses here. Wage payment. Okay. Oh, I didn't stop to look. You're going down the wrong row again. Oh, man. <sighs> We're now paying to replant poplars. You want a whole row, too. Oh, man. <laughs> Okay. Had this happened before? Just wondering if it matters which end of the field you start out. I'm going to go to the other end. Just verify that that's not an issue. One in the afternoon. It sure feels dark. I think it's kind of simulating a, a gray sky. Okay, I had to catch a quick phone call, and I got to figure out what I was doing. Hire? I think that's what I was doing. My youngest daughter just started driving, and she left her headlights on and went in to do something. Was worried that when she came out and saw her headlights on, that it was going to something was going to go wrong while she was driving. I'm just thankful that things still started. Otherwise, I'd be driving right now and finishing this episode up later. I have to go give her a jump start, but she's fine. All right, so, yeah. Let's jump out and clean up these last two trees. And uh, hope he figures it out at the end what he's supposed to do. I was weighing what to do with these. And I guess I've got to get the stump grinder to uh, come on now. Okay, we'll put this these two off to the end over here. Stump grinder before I can even uh, place a, a chain or a, a greenhouse here. Um, so I can't really do anything with it, can I? I can't interact with it at all. Okay. There we go. Where'd that go? Where did it go? Oh, there it is. Alright. Put the other two at this far end over here. So I'm kind of running out of time for this episode. these trees but out where I will notice them so we have three piles of logs out on this property and another one somewhere in this area that I've lost not that one over here not that one okay well we'll just make this one go away okay yep I can lift you but I can't sprint. Ooh, I can. I just assumed I couldn't. Okay. I can sprint both ways. That that saves some time. If I can find the logs again. Hello. I went to that same stump again. Alright, well here's one we haven't done yet. That's a whole tree, isn't it? That's one of the small trees. Ah, oh, dropped it. Interesting how it does that randomly. You just lost your grip. You're going a little too fast. Okay. Alright, let's cut deeper into this area and see if we can find them. That's the little one I think I just carried. So there's still a half a tree 
here somewhere. Right? I need a vehicle I can jump into and get up in the air. There it is. Nope, oh, does not like sprinting with that one. Let's try again. There we go. Now, what's the director doing? Uh, oh, you're kidding me. Okay, we're going to go to the far end and start over. That's a little ridiculous. How does a game not know there's something here? The poplars were an addition to the game. They came in... When did they come in? Let me think that through. Did that come with 17, or did that come with the first expansion of it? I don't remember now. It may have come with 17. I think I guess it did. So it should have been well tested before release. So I don't have an excuse. There's still 80% here. We'll see how that goes. Uh, jump out of here, and let's greenhouse. Uh, let's see here. Peep. And placeables. And greenhouse. Bye. Alright, so with that, I want to move this over to about like that. Now, parallel to the road. It's pretty close to that. I think so. And that should give plenty of room yet to uh, be able to turn around. So I'm going to go with that one. And I'm going to do two of them, right? Can I do two? I think I can do two. There is a stump right there, though. Okay. The stump's right where my mouse is. Looks like I can just squeeze in around them. Do I want to drive between is the question. Do I touch them or not? Like right there. Unfortunately, I can't see the front to know that we're really lined up. I'm going to guess it's maintaining the same position as the other one. So... It does not like getting any closer to that stump than that. Is there another stump I'm not seeing? No, I don't think so. So I guess we're going close. So in that case, I want to get as close to touching as I can. I'm just going to have to hope that the fronts are lined up pretty good. <clears throat> so let's do that one. And then escape, get into this guy. Bye. And the rain's starting up. Maybe that's why things are lagging right now. Yeah, everything's changing. Um, e... Rotate him around. Um, I can kind of line that up with that. That looks pretty good. So it's in that position there. From the back, that looks pretty well lined up. Let's go with that. These are 25000 each. I think we can afford this. There's one more tree to take out. Or we do something else in between. Kind of like that. You're there. Which is just behind that, right about there. Let's do that. We'll put something else in between. Alright, escape. Escape. How do we look? Look good that way. Why, wow, the game's starting to lag right now. Yeah, the rain, I think, uh, changed things on me. I'd say we're pretty good. <coughs> Let's... It's going to take a while. Let's tab over by back. I guess no matter which direction I go, I'm in the wrong one. Right there. I wanted to see if I can get out over there and look at it. I think what I'll do is I'll uh, zoom ahead... So that we can see the greenhouses from the air at this end of the field. And here comes the rain. Yeah, really laggy right now. Alright. This game does that to me at about an hour in. There is the uh, 
the software called CPU Cores that I was using to get Craft the World working well. And I could try it with this game, but I haven't had that problem in a long time. It's the first time it's done that to me for a while. Anyway, there are the greenhouses. Hop out right now, though we are laggy. So, but it, I think it's worth it. We'll take a peek inside. Well, okay, well that answers that. Until we get uh, water and comp or uh, uh, manure into this, nothing's going to grow. Interesting. Jump that one? Kind of. There we go. Yep. Empty beds waiting for some nutrients. Yeah, they almost lined up here. Ooh, automatic doors. Nice. All right, well, I'm going to call this done here. This has been Noble Rambler, and I'll catch you next time, folks. Bye-bye.